New treatments for multiple sclerosis could be on the way after a remarkable discovery. Researchers have found 57 genes that are common to all MS patients. They say the genes help explain why some people get the disease and others don't. Here's medical reporter Sophie Scott. Slow down, slow right down. Sally Allen was diagnosed with multiple sclerosis when she was just 13. Since then, she's been hopeful of a major breakthrough. I've been waiting 28 years and I'm still waiting, but I know they're getting very close, which makes me happy. Scientists from the Westmead Millennium Institute looked at the genes of more than 9,000 people with MS and more than 17,000 healthy people. In a significant advance, they found that all those with MS had one thing in common, 57 genes that are exactly the same. I don't know how long it will take to find a cure for MS. But I do know that however long it'll take, that time will be shorter as a result of the discoveries in this study. Researchers say the discovery provides new clues to the mechanisms underlying MS. For scientists in the field, it is an enormous step forward. Uh, it isn't the end of the journey, but it is a remarkable milestone. The genes were found in an area which governs the immune system. MS involves the body's defence systems, the immune system, actually turning against itself. So this research should allow us to fight back more effectively. At the moment, there are only a couple of effective medications for MS. It's hoped this genetic discovery will lead to new avenues for treatments. A bit wobbly. A bit wobbly. And that's also given new hope for patients like Sally Allen. Sophie Scott, ABC News.